is Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and you're listening to No BS Job Search Advice Radio. This is a time where I like to spend about 15 minutes speaking with you about some element of job search because job hunting for many of you is far harder than it needs to be. It's just you don't take the time to learn things that you need to know in order to be effective with job hunting. As a result, you whine, piss and moan, complain, complain about the system, complain about recruiters, complain, complain, complain. And when push comes to shove, it doesn't have to be this hard. So Monday mornings, 9 a.m. Eastern, available in iTunes, Stitcher, and other places. No BS Job Search Advice Radio will give you some advice about different elements of job search. And this show is brought to you by Audible. If you go to audibletrial.com forward slash the big game hunter and sign up for a free trial of Audible, you'll get a free audio book as part of the trial. And also, my other sponsor is consultingassignments.com, a site where you can find and fill consulting assignments, full time consulting positions, temp, temp to permanent contract to hire opportunities anywhere in the world, completely free. Posting a job or a resume is free. Searching jobs and resumes is free. The only thing the site charges for is if you want to feature a job or a resume is dirt cheap. So again, consultingassignments.com. So I thought I would do a show where I would talk with you about some of the wines that too many of you use and then talk with you about some simple strategies, simple tactics, I should say, to help you get more activity going and ultimately hire. So, wine number one, I don't know how to write a resume. Resumes are hard. I don't know what to do. And, and, you know, if you haven't written a resume, I understand it is hard. And, you know, I would simply say if you've written one before, dig it out and start looking at an update, changing all the tenses for the old jobs to uh, past tense and the current job to present tense. Now, uh, I have a book out called No BS Resume Advice. How does yours measure up? It's available for Kindle uh, for five bucks. It'll be on my website as a PDF shortly, but I've just been overwhelmed with too many things to do. I haven't released it as a PDF yet. So uh, if you go to Amazon, uh, it's five bucks there, no BS resume advice. You can also hire a resume writer. What's so hard about that? Uh, yes, it costs you some money, but you're going to make more money with your job search, right? So you make an investment in yourself and getting a great document. Now, one of the mistakes, excuse me, job hunters make is they keep sending that same resume over and over to every job. And with that, they go, I'm not getting any responses. And, and you deserve not to get responses because you're not tailoring your resume. Once you have the master resume that the resume writer develops, you need to tweak it each time you submit it in order to get some uh, some feedback, in order to get some follow through from employers. Because you know not every job you're submitting it to is identical, is it? Of course not. The the requirements of the positions are different. The tasks and responsibilities would be different. Where you've done these tasks, you want to include in the resume. Where you've worked with these particular skills sought, you want to make sure that they're included in the resume and make it obvious that you've uh, used it. I haven't interviewed in a long time. Well, you can practice. Again, I've got material available. You can find out about my books and guides to job hunting uh, through my website, which is thebiggamehunter.us. But there are plenty of other places. Uh, you can do Google searches. You can do YouTube searches. You can find a lot of great material. And then you have to practice. Get a friend of yours, wife, husband, partner, what have you. Ha- give them some of the key questions that you'll be asked and not just simply the tell me about yourself question learn what the right answers are uh, to all the questions that you might typically be asked on an interview and then practice them with someone so that they sound second nature and in being sounding second nature they can't sound rehearsed so imagine like you're an actor on the stage actors make you believe they're the person right and in doing so, you forget that they're a real individual who's playing a part. 
you always want to make it seem that you're thinking about your answers and answering questions. So again, practice, uh, practice interviewing because it will help you a lot. Um, you have to take update your LinkedIn profile to include the material that you're adding in the resume. Um, and as such, uh, use the resume that you've had written for you, because I assume you're going to do that and not do the work. Uh, so if you do the work, you know, take what you've created, use that to update it. If you've hired someone, take that material and use it to update your LinkedIn profile to make sure it's up to speed. LinkedIn gives you a lot of space. And while you're there, in your summary, include your email address and phone number to make it easy for people to reach you. But they're going to call me. I'm not going to be prepared. Well, you know, get prepared. It's really that simple. You're looking for a job. You want to be prepared. And since LinkedIn is a great resource for people finding you, instead of you always going out looking for a job, you know, be ready. Be prepared. Learn what you need to say and do for a phone interview because that's really what happens when someone contacts you. Oh, my, if I send my resume out, it's going to be in the black hole. I'm not. Why should I bother? Oh, it's horrible. But the reason it goes into the black hole online is you don't do anything to tailor your resume to demonstrate how your background fits. So always to find stupid mistakes. <laughs> That's why it takes too long. So understand that your job is to make your resume obvious. Like a six-year-old with ADHD is looking at your resume, that your background fits this role. You know, often I take a job uh, and I take a resume and I match them up. And in no way, shape, or form does someone fit the job. Like I got a resume this morning for a position doing HR transformation work. And I got a resume from someone who's a waiter in a restaurant. Nothing to do with the job. Absolutely nothing, but he's going to be indignant that I didn't call him. And that's the way it is for so many of you. You, know, you don't take responsibility for your own mistakes and stupidity that's causing you not to get a job. Also, stop applying to jobs online. Contact hiring managers. Now, I, I have a, a, a podcast on my other show, Job Search Radio, that just came out today. And I just want to make sure I give you the right title to it. So bear with me for one second while I get it. Because I'm kind of overwhelmed today. Um, you know, I had... Uh, uh, is it, uh, I'll try and make this as short as possible. Uh, in the course of installing a blog on one website, the two blogs got intertwined, and that included my major one. So the result was in work, working with support at the ISP, through no fault of the support technician, the main blog got erased and needed to get reinstalled. And the result was I'm still loading in lots of data uh, and configurations and what have you. It's By the way, the show is on Job Search Radio, which you can also get in iTunes. It's hosted on webtalkradio.net. And the show is called How to Get a Job the Recruiter Way. And it talks with you about how to find the hiring manager for a job. Obviously, you can do it on LinkedIn as well, but often it's so much more beneficial to actually speak to someone instead of uh, in-mail someone to get a real feel for the job. Also, find out whether or not you're connected with someone who works for that firm who can provide the introduction. So don't only apply uh, to LinkedIn you know, or, or through LinkedIn or online. Contact hiring managers directly. Now, also, in interviewing, you have to be excited. You have to be passionate. You can't sound like a robot who's mechanically answering questions and, as a result, turning off or just boring to tears the interviewer. You know, I film interview all day long with, uh, for people uh, who I really want to refer to jobs. And, you know, I'm, I'm dying here. Uh, and the reason I'm dying is 
And so often these people do such a bad job of demonstrating how they fit the role. And, I, and I'm telling them at the beginning, this is the job I'm recruiting for. This is what the client is looking for. And they don't talk about it. They don't talk about how their experience matches up. It's, it's ridiculous. So you need to demonstrate how your background fits a role and, and not just simply uh, talk about what you've done. Again, when a firm is interviewing, they don't want to hear about what you've done. They want to hear about what you've done that matters to them, that could help solve their problem. So unless you do that, and you know, unless you're prepared to do that, you're wasting your time and theirs and just basking in your own magnificence, boring the, the interviewer to tears. So don't just simply regurgitate a bunch of things. Tie the bow for an employer uh, and make the fit obvious. So remember, LinkedIn is the tool when you want to be hunted, where you want people to be reaching out to you. Your resume is the place where, is the tool for where you want to be the hunter, finding organizations that want to hire someone like you. So you know, use them well in order to um, make First of all, they have to be congruent, but use, use them well to demonstrate the caliber of your work, how you've helped your firm make or save money, and do a lot to make yourself an attractive individual for firms to want to contact and for firms to want to hire. Oh, yes, uh, when you talk to people, manners are so important. Uh, and again, I'm not talking about acting like like. I want you to be cordial and friendly and affable and polite all at once. So please thank you. Manners are so important and get noticed. And when you finish up an interview, uh, you know, especially a phone interview, what's going to happen next uh, is a good question to ask. Now they may say, we'll get back to you in a few weeks and you might as well treat that as a signal that they're probably not interested. Because when firms really are interested, they're going to jump all over you and talk with you about scheduling next steps. So those are some of the whines that I hear. These are some of the solutions that I offer and some of the things that you can do that are really very easy. They're going to help you get better results. Now, I want to encourage you to visit my website, TheBigGameHunter.us. There's a lot more there that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. So again, uh, TheBigGameHunter.us. Visit the blog now. Right now, today, it's not perfect. I'm, I hope to get it all resolved by end of week. But all the content that's, that is there, some of the pretty stuff that I've created around isn't there right now. So I encourage you just be a little patient with me if you check in this week. Next week, it should be a bit different. Also want to mention, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request at linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people worldwide, except if you look like a spammer or scammer, except if you're a third party recruiter. If you want your resume or LinkedIn profile critiqued after you write it, hire me to do it. Again, there's info at my website. I have a discount if you want me to do both of them. Uh, also, uh, if you're at a point where you have a decision about your career or job uh, or job offer, uh, you know, you'll see at the website a tab that refers to trusted advisor services. Hire me. We'll spend some time talking, and I'll help you get things sorted through. So whichever decision you make, which obviously I don't have a vested interest in you taking one job or another, as the recruiter might at that agency who's trying to make a fee, or the corporate recruiter might who's trying to get a job off their plate. So reach out to connect with me through Trusted Advisor Services. Let's spend some time talking. Uh, I'll help you, as I have many other people for the longest time. So again, visit my website. Have me do critiques, Trusted uh, uh, Advisor Services. And by the way, if your current firm's trying to hire someone, now send me an email or message me at jeffaltman at thebiggamehunter.us. 
Tell me who to contact and whether I should mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff positions. So I'm Jeff Altman. Hope you have a great day. Take care.